and the Lord turns his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? All right, all praises to the Most High, our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, okay, and, and, and the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. We are the Israelites, and we come out here in the last days to rise up a nation that is in sleep and in darkness, okay? Hey, our Heavenly Father, man, got a sense of humor in these last days, man. He is shaking up this earth in these last days, man. All right, this world is in shambles, man. All right, none of these nations know what to do in these times that we're in, man. Let me get, let me get, verse 26. Let me get, verse 26. Verse 26. All right, we're going to come out here, man, and we're going to see who wants to hear the word of the Lord in these last days, man. Okay? We what you got, King? This is the book of St. John, chapter 10, and verse 26. Bring it out. But you believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Right, because y'all don't, don't want to hear the word that's coming out in these last days, man. We got a lot of people that come out here, man, and they walk by us, and they don't even want to stop and give us their time or the air to hear the word. This is not our words, man. We come out to prophesy right out of the book that you're supposed to believe in, that you at one time said you believe in this word, Reed. That's right. So like you. Because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice. What? My sheep hear my, my voice. Hey, the Lord's sheep hear his voice. That's why we are out here giving y'all the voice of the Lord in these last days, man. But y'all want to hear the voice of people that don't know what they're talking about in these last days. Y'all want to hear the voice of the people that's going to keep you sleep in these last days. Read. Right. And I know them. And they follow me. And they do what? They follow me. And that's why we come out here, man, the same way that Yahweh Shah did, right. and the same way that the disciples did, and the same way that the prophets did, is because we know the Most High, we know the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shah, in these last days. Read. And I give unto them eternal life. And I give unto them what? Eternal life. Read. And they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And we're not going to perish, neither will we be plucked out of the Most High's hands in these right. last days, man. Because we learn and know how to keep these commandments in these last days to be a separate nation. Read. Right. Verse 29. And my Father which gave them me is greater than all. And that's right, man. The Most High is greater than everybody that proceeds, man. Okay? The face of this earth. We don't care nothing about none of these other gods, none of these nations that rule over us. Right. We care about Yahweh, why Yahweh shy in these last days, man. That's and nobody right. can pluck us out of his hand. Nobody's going to remove us off of these corners. We're going to continue to come out here week in and week out to prophesy this word and prophesy the downfall of this nation, man. Right. To prophesy the downfall of America, man. This stolen land. Read what you got, King. Right. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hated you. Hey, we're not supposed to be amazed, man, if the world hate us, man. All right? We come out here to do the work of the Lord in these last days, man. But these nations hate us for it. They hate this truth. Read. Right. We know that we have passed from death. We know that we did what? Have passed from death. And we passed from death, man, because we once was walking in the valley of dry bones, man. Okay? We once was sleep. We once was dead. Spiritually dead. Read. Unto life. Unto what? Unto, Unto life. life. The Lord's statutes and commandments that he had given us has given us life in these last days. And that's why you see us on this corner in these last days. Hey, this should be a fearful thing to everybody walking by this right now in these last days, man. Read. Because we love the brethren. Because we do what? We love the brethren. And you know what, man? I love all my brothers out here, man. That's that right. come out here to do this work, man, week in and week out. That's I love every brother that opened up his word and studied for hours to preach this gospel in these last days. What you saying, King? Okay, let the ordained minister come over here. Read. 
He that loveth not his brother. He that do what? Loveth not his brother. He that loveth not his brother. Read. Abideth in death. Abideth in death, man. So we got to come out here with the love of the brethren in these last days and reprove our people and correct our people and give them the nationality that was taken away from them in these last days. Read. Whosoever hateth his brother. Whosoever hateth his brother. Is a murderer. Is a what? Is a murderer. So if you don't come out here on these corners, man, if you don't come on these streets in these cities of Babylon the Great and teach your brother his law, statutes, and commandments in these last days, you are what? That's a murderer. You are a murderer, man, because you hate your brother, man. That's because right. you don't want to correct your brother or your sister that may be dressed in immodest apparel. But you would rather look upon that sister. You would rather lust upon that sister, man, That's than right. to correct that sister. Read. And you know that no murderer have eternal life. And you are a murderer of your own people at that point, so you have no eternal life, meaning you have no way into the kingdom of heaven. Read what you got, King. In the book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Be what? Read that again, brother. And be not conformed to this world. See, everybody want to be conformed to this world, man. Before this pandemic hit, man, and while the pandemic was going on, all right, this whole earth was shut down, man. Everybody was in the house scared. The pastors is in the house running. We the only ones still come out here to preach this word in these last days, man. Because we don't have a care for this world. This world could go to hell, man. Read. That's right. But be transformed. And we telling y'all this day that you have to be transformed in these last days, man. Meaning put on all manner of wickedness and come back and serve Yahweh while Yahweh shall, read. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind, being born again, learning over. That is the first principle to come into the Mashiach and Hawashai, is that you be taught over again. You have to learn the way to serve him over again because you have been lied to right. in this land. Read. That's right. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable. That's right, and that's what we come out here to do is prove what is good and acceptable in the sight of Yahweh or Yahweh Shah, man, in these last days. Read what you got, King. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. Bring it out. Ye adulterers and adulteress. Know you not that the friendship of the world? That the what? That the friendship of the world? Man, we telling you not to be friends with this world in the last days, man, because Yahweh is going to destroy this place. That's right. You have to come back to life. You have to come back to serving your power and righteousness in these last days, man. Read. It's enmity with the most high. It's what? It's enmity with the most high. It goes against serving the Lord in these last days, man. Read. Right. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world. Hey, sister, at the sound of my voice, you cannot be a friend of the world in these last days, sister. Right. Read. Whosoever, therefore, would be a friend of the world. If you want to continue to be a friend of this world, read. Is the enemy of the Most High. Hey, you're an enemy with the Most High, man. That's right. How you feel about that? Your people want to be an enemy to the Most High, to love this place that's bound to be destroyed? You've been reading it in your churches all these years, but you still want to act like you don't know this word, man. Bring it out. A lot of these people in these churches every Sunday, they know this word, man. But they play stupid, man. Right. They blind, man. That's Read. Right. Verse 5. Do you think that scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in lust is uh -huh. to envy? Go ahead. Read what you got. The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Love not the world. Love what? Love not the world. And we telling y'all on this day to love not the world again. Why does the Lord have to keep putting this down in record to let y'all know to be not lovers of this world, man? This world does not love you. This world hates you. The same way it hate, the same way that it hated Christ, man. The Hamashiach and Hawashai. This world does not love you, read. Neither the things that are in the world. You can't love the things that's in the world, oh. man. How you gonna love the world? How you gonna love your enemy and your oppressor? How you gonna love with the information that he's giving you in these last days, man? Do you know they about to create 
a social credit system that's right that's bound to destroy our people right. that goes against us coming out here being separate that's right we're not going to be able to speak this truth man right a famine of the word is coming because this right. devil wants to shut this down man that's right. and you know what the moment they do that that's when all hell is going to break loose on that's the whole right. scale right here in america man that's right. that's this right. place is not seeing the judgment of the lord man that's right that's okay right. september 11th has nothing on what the Most High is going to do in this place, man. Right? Right. Read. If any man loved the world, uh -huh. the love of the Father is not in him. And the love of the Most High is not in you. We're telling you to come out this day and be separate. Thus save your how or your Read what That's you right. got. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 5, is verse 19. Bring it out. And we know that we are of God. We are of what? Are of God. And we know that we are of the Most High in these last days, man, because we got the spirit of prophecy. We got the spirit to come out here in these last days, man, and wake up a dead nation, to wake up a people that are asleep, that are trodden down, man, a people that are hated amongst all people in these last days. Read. Right? And the whole world lieth in wickedness. And the whole world lieth in what? Lieth in wickedness. And the whole world is lying in wickedness because you following a wicked people. That's right. Okay, the people that run this land oh, are man. wicked as hell, That's man. Right. Right. And we know that the Son of the Most High is come. And we know that the Son of the Most High is come, man, because that same spirit that was in him is in us. And we come out here to teach this word in these last days. Read. And have given us an understanding. And he had given us what? An understanding. And he gave us the understanding to be separate in these last days. To come right. back and serve him in these last days. Right. To put off all manner of wickedness in these last days. Right. To love our nation, man. That's that the right. world hate us, right? That we may know him. That, that we may what? That we may know him. And we know the Lord in these last days, man. Right. Right. That is true. That is what? That is true. By this truth we know the Lord, man. Read. Right? And we are in him uh -huh. that is true, even in his son, Yahweh Shah. That's right. Hamashiach. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. And that's who we praise, man. And that's who we live for in these last days. Read. That's this true. is the true power. This is who? This is the true power. And this is the true power, man. Read. And eternal life. And eternal life, man. This is how you're going to get eternal life when this earth is passed away. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 10, and verse 1. Bring it out. Why standest thou a far off? O Yahweh, why hadst thou, thou thyself in times of trouble? Verse 2. Come on, read. Read it again, read it again. The book of Psalms, chapter 10, and verse 1. Why standest thou a far off? Uh -huh. O Lord, o Lord, why hadst thou thyself? Why do what? Why hadst thyself? in times of trouble why is the lord hiding himself in a time of trouble man when this damn pandemic started man the people were scared they was like man where is god at in these last days man why is god letting this happen man why is he not saving us in these last days from what is going on read what you got king this is the book of Micah, chapter 3 and verse 4 then shall they call unto the lord uh -huh. But he will not hear them. They, they should do what? They shall cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. Hey, our people have been crying for the Lord now for two years, man, and he's not hearing our people. He's going to continue to put you to death in these last days unless you're going to return back to him. Read. He will even hide his face. He will do what? He will hide his face. And the Lord has hid his face from his people, man. For a time, because y'all do not want to hearken and hear the word of the Lord in these last days. Y'all want to party, man. That's all we know how to do is party in these last days and stay asleep. Read. From them at that time, uh -huh. as they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. Have they been done what? As they have behaved themselves ill in their doing. That's what y'all people are doing. Y'all have behaved yourself ill in the ways of your doings. And the Lord is telling you on this day to come back and serve him in righteousness. Read what you got, King? The book of the prophet Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 23. Bring it out. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. They did what? The house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. The, the Most High is telling in these last days, brother, that you went into captivity because you broke his law, statutes, and commandments. Read. 
because they trespassed against me. Uh -huh. Therefore, hid I my face. Therefore, the Lord hid his face from us in these last days, man. And now he's telling you to return so he can return to us. Read. And build them into the hand of their enemy. And he gave he gave us to the hand of our enemy. Hey, sister, you can come up closer if you want to, sister. Come up here and look at these signs right here real quick, sister. Read what you got, King. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. Hey, this is what the Lord is saying, man. He had to go and return to his place, man, and leave us alone because we wanted to continue in wickedness. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Do our people want to acknowledge their offense to the Most High? Hey, sister, hey, brother, do you know how you offended your power in these last days? Do you know who you are? Come on. Read. And seek my face. Hey, you want to seek the Most High's face. Read. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. Hey, your affliction is the only way our people know how to serve the Lord is when we on our deathbed, man. You can tell the brother, hey, stop smoking them cigarettes or you're going to die. You know what he's going to do? He's going to smoke the cigarette till he's on the deathbed. And then he's going to want to cry to the Lord and say, save me, Lord. Save yeah. me. Save me. Free me from this affliction, Lord. Please, Lord, please. The Lord ain't hearing that, man. Right. He's hiding his face from you in these last days. Read. They will seek me early. And they're going to seek the Lord early, man, in these afflictions. Read what you got, King. The book of Psalms, chapter 10 and verse 2. The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Read. Let them be taken in their devices. Let the wicked be taken in their devices, man. So everything that this wicked man, these nations that are putting before you in these last days to go against your power, hey, he's going to return these devices on our enemies. Read. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. That they have imagined because you know what? They sitting back in their councils and they're imagining putting you to death in these last days, man. Right. Right. They're imagining putting you in chains in these last days again, man. Yeah. They're imagining taking away the breath of life that the Lord have put in us in these last days, man. They can't stand us on these corners. Y'all don't think they watching us out here? Oh, they watching. Trust me. They see us. Read what you got. This is a book. A wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Verse 3. For the wicked boasteth of his heart. For the wicked do what? Boasteth of his heart. And that's what the wicked do. The wicked is very prideful, man, in these last days. They love putting you to death. Read. The wicked boasteth of his heart's desire uh -huh. and blesseth the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. And who the Lord abhorreth. Keep reading. Verse 4. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. And that's right, man. The wicked, they don't seek after the Most High God, man. Your power is strong, and he's calling you back in these last days, man. He's telling you to put off all manner of wickedness and come back and serve him and righteousness. Hey, sister, hey, hey brother and sister, do y'all know your nationality? Come up here real quick, sister. Hey, both of y'all, can y'all come up here? Hey, brother, let him listen real quick. Hey, what's your nationality, sister? Can you take that mask off so we can hear you? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have a nationality, sister? Why not? Everybody does. What's the what's the root word to nationality? Nation. What nation do you come from? Black. <laughs> You're black? Yeah, African-American. African-American, okay? Yeah. All right, let me show you real quick, sister, that you're not an African-American, okay? That you actually come from a righteous, royal nation, okay? You know what I want already? Come on, bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. For thou art what? And holy people. For thou art an holy people. Listen up, don't be distracted, okay, by the madness. Read. Unto Yahweh thy power. You are a holy people, meaning you are a separate people unto Yahweh is his name. Your power, your God. Read. And Yahweh thy power have chosen thee. And the Lord have chosen you and you, brother. Read. To be a special you, people. You know, brother? What you know, brother? We the original? We the original what, brother? Original man. Okay. Your Me? Is your barcode. To be a special people. Uh, but what's your nationality, brother? 
Uh, I'm from my, I'm only able to trace as far as my grandfather tells me, and we're Blackfoot tribe. You're what? Blackfoot Native. Blackfoot tribe, so you'd be a Gadite. That's right. According to the gospel, okay? Right. You would be a Gadite who is asleep, and you need to wake up in these last days, bro. That's right. Because that's your true nationality, read. To be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, come on, bring that out, King. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. Israel. Y'all listen up. These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel. He was not speaking and teaching all people. You believe that image? Oh my God. Do, sister, you believe in that image? No. Okay, all we praises. Too much to to hey, all right. praises. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken. Read it, okay. uh, read it, read it strong, <laughs> brother. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. Okay, read. If thou wilt not hearken. And our people do not want to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Read. I will bless our God with thy power. I'm going to bring it out, brother. To observe, to do all his commandments. Hey, and we did not want to do all of the commandments of the Lord. And if I ask you, why is the black man and black woman in these conditions here in America. Do you know? Yes. Why? Well, I mean, it's not a... Slavery, when you look on that sign right there, right? Why did that happen? What? Uh, slavery? slavery? Why did that happen, brother? Tell me. Y'all read, right? You should yeah, say, y'all right. read, y'all know. Y'all yeah, know that's not the image of Christ. Why did that happen to us, brother? I wouldn't say because the, the, Bible, Christian the Bible, Bible was a tool, but, you know, the Christian, Bible, uh, yeah, the Christian Bible was a tool to subjugate black people. It's one of the greatest people. weapons used against us. Oh, you think so? What, they religion? Used against black people, yeah. So who promoted and, and who, who wrote the Bible? A bunch, bunch of white people. <laughs> All right. Let me get, you got that? Deuteronomy, what you got? It, it, Go ahead, it, read it, that. I'm, I'm All right, read this. Understand this, okay? The Lord of God can wrote this Bible, okay? Read. All his commandments and his statutes, which uh -huh. I command thee this day, uh -huh. and all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Hey, I mean, would you look at, if you look at the black man and black woman's condition, right? And a Hispanic man and Hispanic woman, and a native man and a native woman, what do you think? Are we under curses or are we blessed as a nation? We're taught to see each other as the enemy. That's pretty much right. Okay, let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Let me show you what that, let me show you guys some prophecy, okay, of the curses in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. Bring it out. So, that the man that is tender among you. So that the man that is tender among you, like what you just was saying, right, read. And very delicate. Uh -huh. His eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil toward his brother, like what you was just saying, right? That's why you have black on black crime, right? No. Read. And toward the wife of his brother. That's your wife right there? No. Not yet. No? Not yet? Okay, all praise him. When you look at our households, right? When you look at our homes, right? Is the black man in the home with the, with the wife and the children? Yes. Majority of them? Really? Mine was. was your father in your home? Absolutely. Was your father in your home? I had a stepfather. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, listen, I had a stepfather too, and my father wasn't in my home. You understand? Right. Okay, and he didn't teach me who I was. You see what I'm saying? I do have one question. What's your question, brother? All right, my, like, I'm down. The only thing is, like, religion has been used so much against us. Why not uh, take out religion and create, like, a 10 point party? We're, we're like, not out here for religion. I know you we're out here for nationality. The Bible has nothing to do with religion. Wake them up. Okay? That's right. This is a book of prophecy. That's right. This is a book of law, statutes, and commandments. Give me that in group. That's the same book that the That's Belgians just... read from when they cut off the hands uh, of the uh, blacks in the Congo. Hey, so brother, you've been lied right? to, they brother. No, You've been lied to, brother. Hey, just because the they used this book, just because they used this book to oppress us in ignorance, brother, it's we're gonna use this same book it's to bring this hell, to bring this earth down to hell, man. Okay? Right. Right. This world it's is tainted. gonna be destroyed. That same white right man that you're talking about is gonna be destroyed with every word that's in this book. That's right. That's okay, right. read, brother. Bring it out. Look the book of Baruch. The, the book of Baruch, chapter four, read. verse one. Read this. Yes. Is the book of the commandments. This is the book of what? This is the book of the commandments hey, of God. This book is for commandments, brother. Read. And the law. And the what? And the law. And the law. That endureth forever. These 
laws and these commandments endure forever. And that's why we're in the conditions we're in, because we don't want to hear the law that endures forever. But we don't have any economic power that destroyed all our towns. Yeah, they did, brother. So if you stand here and listen, you're going to see why they did. The only way that we are going to get out of this situation is if they give us their, our own territory. We're the only people on the planet without our own territory. Hey, and finish reading that. Talk about Black, black, black Wall like Street. That, yeah. they, they right, right. Too well. So when you look at, so when you look at Black Wall Street, right? What happened? What happened with Black Wall Street, brother? Then we have our own community. Then we have our own community in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah, but that's, right. That's we did, right? But what they do? They destroyed it, right? What about the move movement in Philadelphia, brother? about the movement. All right, you know about it, brother. But listen. We will never rise as a nation without our power. We oh, gave us the strip that we have, brother. Right. Okay? Right. So everything we try to rise up, all right, the Lord allows the enemy to bring it down because we refuse to hearken unto his law. The same way you don't want to hear it right now, brother. I'm not saying I don't want to hear it. All I'm saying is the Bible is tainted. So, like, you know, you want to, like, start that, brother. Bring it out. All right, listen at this. Listen at this real quick. Book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 3 and verse 16. Bring it out, kid. All scripture. All right. All scripture. Hey, so all scripture. All these books we got up here. All scripture is what? Is given by inspiration of God. It's given by what? Inspiration of Jehovah. I thought that said the white man, man. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is given by the inspiration of Yahweh. Read. And it's profitable for doctrine for the truth. profitable for what? Profitable for doctrine of reproof. All right, what'd you say, sister? Did you write those sigils on the book yourself? What, what are you talking those about? Those sigils, those, those sigils. Oh, you're talking about that? Oh, okay. yeah, that's, yeah, that's the Lord's name. What about it? No, I was just curious. That's not my book, so I didn't know what you were talking about. Uh, and then there's some there on the blue, and the, those it? sigils the too? Yeah, what about it though, sister? What you think about it? Um, well, I'm into sigils, I was just curious. That's the name of the Lord right there. Uh, you in the symbols? Sigils, I am. Oh, okay. To Read it again for them. The book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, it's like a 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the hour and is profitable for doctrine for reproof. It's profitable for doctrine and correction. That's why we're out here, man. Y'all got to come back and serve your power in these last days or you're going to be destroyed right with the white man. Read what you got, King. You said they've been saying what? I agree with everything with the Bible, but I do see all black. And now, people. brother, you don't agree with everything, brother. Right. Read. The, 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 the this the is Bible the book of Psalms, Bible. chapter 68 and verse 11. Bring it out. The Lord gave the word. The, who? the Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word, brother. The same thing they say in the white church. Read. Great was the company of those that Great. published it. Great was the prophets that no, no, published no, no, it. You, you understand, brother? So God ain't going to fix nothing. Only we can fix it. Wow. Nobody going to nobody wow. Help us, uh, but us. Uh, that's just the way it is. You can look at this. Let me keep going on, man. Give me that wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. What scripture is that? What scripture is that? See, that's some scripture. What that even makes sense? Listen. All right, read that real quick. Psalm forty and seven. The book of Psalms, the forty and verse seven. Bring it out. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is what? I come in the volume of the book. Hey, yeah, how is I come in the volume of the book? Read. It is written of me. Well, it is written of him. Not of, not of no damn white man, man. Get right. out your mind, man. Okay, the white man ain't write nothing over here that's, that's right. profitable for our people in these last days, man. Read that, brother. That's right. I'll tell you what's going on. Solomon chapter 5 and 1. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 1. Hey, keep listening up, sister. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And that's what you see right now in these last days, man. When you look at the men up here, okay, when you look at our women over there, the righteous man is standing in what? Great boldness. And we are here to stand in great boldness in these last that's days, man. Right. And we don't care about no false ideologies or doctrines that you people got in your mind, man. We before the face of such as have afflicted and him. we come out here in the face of those that have afflicted us in these last days, man, yes, to bring their captivity on their own head, read. Yes. And made no account of his labor. And they made no account of our labor, man. We no. built this place, man. Right. Okay, we built the railroad. Where is our labor? Where is our payments at, man? Right. Read. When they see it, they shall be troubled 
with fear. And that's why they, you know, when you see the, the, the so-called white man, when they walk by us, man, a lot of them are troubled in the spirit. Like this woman in the van right here, she's kind of troubled out there. She's smiling. She's like, what's going on? What are they doing? Okay, well, your kingdom is coming to an end. Okay? All right, read. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And they are, they are, they are amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, man. Because they see us standing tall for the words that they put against us, man. Read. So far beyond all that they looked for, and they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit. For what? For anguish of spirit. And they got an anguish of spirit because they know that they touched the apple of the Most High's eye, man. Okay, they helped destroy our people in these last days to the point where they think a white man had his hand in writing something so powerful, man. What's wrong with our people, man? Read. Shall say within themselves, uh -huh. this was he. This is who? This was he. This was he who we did what? Whom we have sometimes in derision. Whom we had sometime in derision, sometime in hatred. Sometimes they mocked us, man. Read. Yeah. And a proverb. In a what? And a proverb. And they taking our name away from us, sister, you come from the nation of Israel, yes. of the 12 tribes, okay? We of reproach. Of what? Of reproach. Of reproach. We we fools accounted his life madness. And these fools accounted our life as madness, man. Yeah. Because our people, according to Deuteronomy 28 and 28, have been smitten by madness in these last days. We and his end to be without honor. And they, and they want our end to be as as without honor, man. That's why they can walk by us and look at us like we're not gonna stand up and rule this earth again. Yeah. We. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? Okay, read. And his lot is among the saints. Right, hold that. Read what you got. The book of St. John, chapter 5, and verse 39. Bring it out. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And right, we got to search out these scriptures day and night because they testify of Yahweh Shai in these last That's days, right. man. But you know what? Our people think that they have salvation in them and because they're not doing what the Lord told them to do. You have to do these righteous acts upon the earth. You have to come out here and show your people what they're doing wrong so they can come back and serve their power in these last days, man. Read. Come on, bring it up. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 22. How long, ye simple ones? How long, ye what? Ye simple ones. How long, ye simple ones? Read. Will you love simplicity? Will you love simplicity? A simple mind of thinking the white man had his hand in our records. Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorning delight in their scorning and mockery and coming up before the men of the Lord acting like they know something about our records, man. Read. And fools. And what? And fools. And what? And fools. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge, man. Oh. Fools hate the wisdom of the Lord in these last days, man. Right. They want to go out, go out and go around acting like they know something That's about right. this gospel. Read. That's right. It's the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. Bring it out. To the law and to the testimony. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, if you're not speaking according to this word in these last days, read, it is because there is no light in them. There is no light in you if you're not speaking according to these words in these right. last days, man. That's why you continue to walk up and down the street and you go into an African-American parade over here or whatever this is, talking about the white man wrote the Bible. Right. Read. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Bring it out. Trust in the Lord. Trust in who? Trust in the Lord. You're supposed to trust in Yahweh while Yahweh shy in these last days, man. Yes, That's not in our own self, man. Right. Read. With all thine heart. With what? With all thine heart. You got to trust in the Lord with all your heart, man. Not the so-called white man, man. Not the Chinese man, man. Not the Arab man, man. You're supposed to trust in the Lord, man. Read. And lean not. And do what? And lean not. The white man. The white man Wrote, wrote the book and lean not uh -huh. unto your unto thy own understanding and lean not unto your own understanding right. okay you have to come back 
to the Lord's understanding in these last days and knowing that you are the children of Israel, that you have brought his law, statutes, and commandments, that you have to return back and serve your power in all manner of righteousness. Um, get that wisdom of Solomon again. What you holding, okay? Hey, y'all brothers, hey, brothers got time to hear the word of the Lord? Brothers right here, man. What's your nationality? Real quick, brother. Five minutes. What's your nationality, brother? Hey, man, this place is finished, man. What is your nationality, brothers? That's right. Read. Um, verse 8. Verse 8. Ephesians chapter 6. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 8. For honor, age is not that which standeth. Is it Yeah, verse 8, go ahead. Oh, five and eight, like five and eight. Come on. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 8. Bring it oh. out, King. What has pride profited us? What, what, what have pride profited us, read? Or what good have riches without voting brought us? Alright, go ahead. All those things are passed away. All those things are going to be passed away, man. All of your riches, all of your foul spirits, man, not wanting to come back and serve the Lord in these last days, are going to be passed away, man. You're going to be destroyed with Babylon the Great. Read. Like a shadow. Like a shadow. Read. And as a post that hasted by. Uh -huh. Read what you got, King. Six. Six and, uh, six and ten. The book of Ephesians, six and verse ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And we're telling y'all right now, finally to be strong in the Lord, sister and brother. Read. And the power of his might. And the power of his might. The power of his word. The wisdom of the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Put on the whole armor of Jehovah. Do what? Put on the whole armor of God. And we telling you in these last days, man, to put on the armor of God, man. Not whatever poison they're trying to put in your system. Put on the whole armor of God. Of Yahweh, while Yahweh shot in these last days, man. That is the only way you're going to be saved and delivered from destruction. Pray right? that you may be able to stand against the wrongs. For you will be able to stand against the trickery of who? The devil. Of the devil. Read. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And we here to tell you that when we're being put to sleep out here, you're being put to death. And when you're getting poison stuck in you, you're not wrestling with flesh and blood. Read. But against principalities. Against what? Principalities. You're wrestling against principalities. Read. Against powers. Uh -huh. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And we're telling you that you're fighting against the rulers of the darkness of this world. What I got? What you hold? Come on, bring it out. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 2. Bring it out. Well, in times past, you walk according to the course of this world. Are we telling y'all, man, that in times past, like many of the brothers you see up here, we walk in the course of this world, read. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. In the children of who? Right. Disobedience. So if you're not in the power and the spirit of the Lord, you're in the spirit of Satan, man. Right. You're in the spirit of disobedience. You are the child of Satan if you're not keeping these law statutes and commandments. Read what you got. I guess spiritual wickedness. And we telling y'all this day that the prince and the king that runs this earth is Satan, not the Most High, man. The Most High does not care about this earth. That's why it has to pass away. Read. Against spiritual wickedness. Against spiritual wickedness. Read. In high places. In high places. Let me get a uh, second. Four, 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 four. Keep reading. Verse 13. Verse take unto you the whole armor of God. And we telling you this day to take on the whole armor of the Most High. Read. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day, uh -huh. and having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt uh -huh. with truth, and 
having, and having your loins girt with truth, the law, statutes, and commandments. Read. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. Right. According to Deuteronomy 6 and 25, our righteousness shall be these law, statutes, and commandments. Read. Verse 15. And your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And your feet shod with the what? The preparation of the gospel of peace. With the gospel of peace, which is the arising of you, so-called black man and black woman, so-called Hispanic man and woman, right. and so-called native man and woman, the gospel of peace unto you, read. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Having the shield of faith. Okay, the understanding of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai in these last days, the understanding of knowing that he shed his blood for you, okay, that you should have all faith in him. Read. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Hey, y'all come over here and hear the word. Y'all pull over right here and hear the word. And real quick, sister. take on the helmet of salvation uh -huh. and the sword of the spirit. And the sword of the spirit. Read what you got real quick, and I'm going to... Um, I'll close out on this. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4 and verse 4. Bring it out. And from the God of this world. And we telling y'all right now, the God of this world, man, that's running this place, man, is the spirit of Satan. Read. Have blinded the minds of them. And their minds are blinded, man. Our people are still blinded in 2021, so-called 2021, without a real nationality. Hey, brothers, what is your nationality, if you don't mind me asking real quick? You American, brother? All right. Stay right here real quick, brother. Read. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, whom is the image of the most high. Hey, sister, you need to get out from away from that wicked relationship that you're Whoa. in. Okay? You are supposed to be separate away from your oppressor in these last days. I know you don't like it, sister. That's right. I know it's burning you up, that's right. but that's the right. devil you with, man. That's right. Okay? Yeah, all right. Read. Should shine until them. That's all on that, man. I want to give all praises to the Most High, whose name is Yahweh. All praises to the Heavenly Son, whose name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And I want to say death to this wicked nation. Death to all nations that have put us in captivity. And your time is coming to an end. Hold your side. Hold your side. Hold your side.